Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher, Mr. Stano. Last time when we left off, we were talking about meandering rivers, and earlier before, before that, we were talking about rivers as the predominant agent of erosion on planet Earth. We know that as rivers move, that the velocity will change as, they're, as they move around corners or as, as their positions change, their velocity changes. When that happens, we get erosion where the water is faster and deposition where the water is slower. The deposition that occurs when the water is moving slower or as it changes speed is going to change how that the sediment is deposited. That ability for sediment to get posit deposited in certain ways is known as sorting. So sediments that are left behind by streams are sorted by size. We can see here we have large, large particles going all the way to our small sediment right here. And we can probably pick out the names of some of these sediments, but we're not worried about that right now. The first type of sorting we have is horizontal sorting. This occurs when a river or a stream enters a larger body of water. When it enters a larger, larger body of water, the velocity of that stream decreases. So here we have the mouth of a river, large body of water, the velocity decreases. So only the smallest particles are carried the farthest. This is right where the river enters the large body of water. So if we look at it from above, we could see this would be like the river. And then all of a sudden it opens up into an ocean. So here we have increased velocity right here, a decrease in velocity. So at the mouth, Decrease the value. We have our big particles here, and they get smaller and smaller and smaller as we move out. Here's some more horizontal right here. This is having to do with the gradient of a stream. Notice here we have a big, we have a high gradient, so we have increased velocity up near the the source orders of region. So we'll have our large particles. Here the velocity decreases. And here it decreases even more. And notice that as we move through, with the velocity slows down more and more, we get smaller and smaller particles or large to small. Here, decreasing velocity. Here's looking at horizontal a little bit more, just kind of up and close. You can see here, large, we have increased velocity up on top. So we have all these large particles only being able to suspend it. Then all of a sudden, as our velocity decreases, only the smaller carried, finally more, decreases and more, and our smallest are carried within our solutions and ions that make it out into like oceans. We also see a change in the shape our roundest and densest materials are going to be deposited first. Smallest, flats, and least dense are deposited last. We'll go more into that in a little bit. We have what's also called vertical sorting. So not only as rivers into oceans, they can horizontally sort, they can vertically sort too. As the river slows down, sediments are deposited according to size, very similar to horizontal sorting. But what ends up happening is the larger and heavier particles will settle first, and then the lighter and smaller particles will settle last. So we see this change in vertical orientation from bottom to top, coarse on the bottom or fine and to fine on top. This is actually a sedimentary rock. And we can see it, it was found in a stream bed. We have our large particles here and small on top. This right here was due to vertical sorting. If we have uh, a number of events of deposition, of vertical sorting, it's known as graded bedding. So this is the first event where say there was a really big heavy rainstorm it brings all the sediment down, and then as time goes on, the rain slow down, the water kind of runs out, it deposits all this material. 
Then all of a sudden there's another huge rainstorm. This would be our second event up here. And it deposits, same thing, water velocity picks up and then it eventually deposits more material. We'll talk about more, more of this in class, but graded bedding is ha happens over periods of time where we have a lot of water and it slows down, then a lot of water and slows down. So as that does, it changes, it deposits materials in layers. This is looking at graded bedding again, and we can see here between the base and the top, large particles on the bottom, small on top. This is looking at a series of events and notice here, large than small, large than small. This is over a series of events. Here's graded bedding right here. You can see large, small, another line, large and small, and another line, large and small. And look, another one of large and small. So we have one, two, three, four series of events. What affects the rate of deposition? One is going to be sediment size. Larger sediments are going to settle faster than smaller sediments. So if we had to graph that relationship between particle size and settling rate, going from our small to large, our settling rate would increase. Remember, an increase in settling rate means it's happening faster. It's like if you're going 80 miles per hour versus 10. The bigger the number for a rate, the faster it's occurring. It's also a direct relationship. The sediment shape will also affect how it deposits with the flatter particles, such as this one. They have an increased surface area. So they are going to settle slowly. This has got a decreased surface area. And this will settle fast. We could graph this relationship, whereas the particle gets flatter or an increase in surface area. We're going to see our settling time right here, a little bit different. We will say the settling time, actually, let's change this. Let's do the rate. So as we increase surface area, our settling rate will decrease okay increasing our surface area decreases our settling rate we can also look at particle density more dense particles will settle faster than less dense particles if we would graph this relationship increasing density what happens to settling rate it's going to increase or be a direct relationship. Okay, here's a little summary of water erosion, some things we've talked about already. I'll leave this up for you. You can pause it, do whatever you like with this section. You should have all the notes for it. But I hope you enjoyed this little session on water erosion. Take care. Have a good day.